Does this video really show one of the current Israeli counterattacks on Gaza? This is what several social media users are claiming. But this is false. It's old footage. A quick reverse image search shows the video is not related to the current situation. It's a video of a tower block in Gaza being destroyed by a missile and it is from May 2021. It was aired by several international media outlets at the time. Hamas is a terrorist organization and is identified as such by the EU, the US, Germany and a number of other countries. Since the Islamist terrorist organization Hamas attacked Israel on October 7, social media has been flooded with claims, photos and videos about the ongoing situation. And many of them are false. The amount of disinformation, misinformation, uh, propaganda, confusion is as high as I've ever seen in any conflict. So there's definitely a much larger volume uh, happening this time around. There are certain narratives which show the extent of fake news currently circulating online. Since militant terrorist attacks began, several videos have appeared allegedly showing the abduction of Israeli children by Hamas or the kidnapping of Palestinian minors by Israeli forces. While some videos about children being harmed are true, many are false. Here's one example. Many social media users have shared this video, which claims Israelis are making fake videos which say Hamas has killed children. The video has been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. This claim is false. In the comments section, some users claim the video shows footage from the production of a film directed by Avni Eshtaibe. Mohamed Avafte is a cinematographer who worked on the film. On his Instagram and TikTok accounts, we found videos dating back to April 2022, showing the same footage. It turns out the video circulating online shows behind the scenes footage from the making of Empty Place. The short film is based on the life of Ahmad Manasra, a 13-year-old Palestinian boy whose arrest in 2015 and subsequent murder conviction led to global outrage. A Google search led us to the short film, which was published in 2022. Another viral video is this one. Social media users claim it shows a Hamas militant fighter with a kidnapped Jewish baby girl in Gaza. <laughs> This is false. During our online research, we were unable to find the account which allegedly posted the video first. But we found this Instagram account. Here is a statement that says the video was uploaded a month ago and shows him and an Arabic girl in the streets. He also states his TikTok account was hacked and deleted. In fact, we found an archived version of the video which was uploaded on September 8. Therefore, it is not related to the current Israel-Hamas war. Experts see a specific reason for the spread of such a large amount of fake news. These fake media, these narrative campaigns being shared uh, widely, so just so each um, member of, of, of each part of this conflict can garner more public support uh, for them. What we're also seeing online are many fake videos about alleged attacks of Hamas against Israel, like this one. This video allegedly shows dozens of Hamas fighters paragliding into Israel. This is false. We are seeing a location in Egypt. Through a reverse image search, we were able to geolocate the area. The white building in the background is a military academy in Cairo. If you look closely, you can also see an Egyptian flag on the building. And in front of it is the military coat of arms. The alleged Palestinian paragliders are paratroopers and they bear the Egyptian flag. We could not find the original clip, but the video most likely shows an Egyptian military exercise. While the US news agency Associated Press reported that there have been Hamas fighters entering as paragliders, this video doesn't document that situation. News about Israel, Gaza and the terror organization Hamas continue to circulate globally as is the misinformation about reactions from some political leaders. A lot of videos show Russian President Vladimir Putin allegedly speaking about the situation in Israel, 
like this one. I am warning America to stay away from the Palestine-Israel war. The video has thousands of views, but it's false. Through a reverse image search, we found the videos of Putin are old. They were originally published 10 months ago by several media outlets. We compared the videos shared on social media now with the video which was published back in December 2022. They are exactly the same. We asked a Russian speaker who confirmed the English translations of the videos on social media are false. Putin does not speak about the conflict in the Middle East. Putin speaks about the Russian-Ukraine war and replies to a question about the country's potential use of nuclear weapons. These are only a few examples of the disinformation circulating about the Hamas attacks on Israel. There are many more, fueled by the algorithm and the policies of social media platforms. If you see more disinformation and propaganda circulating online, please send it to factchecking at dw.com.